Also this this evening, more than 100 people arrested as part of a street racing incident in South Oklahoma City in a parking lot. From McIntyre Law, Chopper 4, take a look. You can see the tire marks left behind. The arrest came after several calls to police. News 4's Taylor Mitchell is on Crime Watch with details. Oklahoma City Police say the group of street racers were leaving thousands of dollars worth of damage during their illegal activities. So Sunday they arrested every single person involved, even the bystanders that were just watching. I thought I was going to have a heart attack because my daughter being arrested is like so far off my radar. I, I, and then when I found out what it was, I was like... What is this? Why didn't they issue citations to these people? Gordon Flick says his teenage daughter was at the street racing event, watching from a private parking lot at Southeast 89th and Pole Road. That's when she, along with over 100 others, were arrested for trespassing and taken to the Oklahoma County Jail. Don't the police have anything better to do than target adolescent youth running amok in the summertime? Is that really that much of a priority. Oklahoma City Police say the group of street racers have vandalized the location in the past and during the operation they impounded more than 50 cars. One of the cars was stolen. Officers also found several guns. There's a business complex area there. Large groups of people gathering sometimes up into 200 people gathering, um, causing being pretty destructive and causing uh, quite a bit of damage at this property uh, in relation to street burnouts, um, fireworks, large amounts of trash. Flick just upset his teenage daughter who has never been in trouble now has a record. He fears it will follow her in the future. Yeah, shocked. I was shocked. I, I, don't, I never in my life thought for a minute that she'd ever be arrested for anything. Police say street racing is an ongoing issue in Oklahoma City. The problem is, is still there, but we're not finished. In Oklahoma City, Taylor Mitchell, Oklahoma's News 4. All right, Taylor, thank you. One of the guns found was an AR-15. Oklahoma City police say they started receiving tips on this in early May.